Excite is a multi-body dynamic software tool calculating in the transient or in the time domain utilizing rigid or flexible bodies. One of the application fields in Excite is elastohydrodynamic contact investigations referred to more commonly as EHD. Results such as total pressure, oil fill ratio, and friction are typical quantities that are examined. My name is Brian McCaskey and I am a software support engineer for AVL Excite. What I would like to do is provide you with an overview of Excite Power Unit EHD analysis. On the screen is a variant of our I4 demo example which uses EHD joints for the main bearings. I'm going to show you some of the key inputs that are required for such an analysis. First I need to define that this is an EHD bearing. Then I can work my way from top to bottom into the inputs. I'll start with the bearing data where I specify bearing geometry and also the HD mesh size. I then can define a contact model type. In this instance, I'm specifying the green wooden trip contact model, which requires a summit roughness and a mean summit height for both the shell and the journal. I've also enabled the average Reynolds equation, according to Patir and Chang. When this is enabled, it means the influence of the surface roughness amplitudes and orientation is considered in the solution of the hydrodynamic pressure. In this case, the so-called flow factors influence the lubricant flow. Under shell geometry, I specify the reference cylinder, as well as the option to move FE nodes to cylinder surface and apply a new radius. In this way, I can take care of any small inaccuracies that might arise from the FE modeling. I specify an oil type, and then I can also specify different oil supplies. If I click the View Boundary Conditions button, we can see what is defined. On the shell, I have a groove, and I have two split lines. On the journal, I have two oil bores defined. I can also specify the temperature of the supplied oil and then specify the data storage. In this way I can define which results I would like to have available at the end of the simulation. Additionally, I can specify what scalar results I would like to view and then finally there are 2D results that are available. When the simulation is complete I can go to the 2D post processor called Impress Chart and I can look at different results that are available. I can look at one of the 2D scalar results that are available for total pressure and I can also look at the orbital path. One other nice feature is what we call the create movie feature. In this way I can take the results that are on the screen and I can create a small movie. This is an example of the total pressure for main bearing number one and the orbital path for main bearing number one as well. If we have requested it, we also have a standard report for the main bearing analysis. What is shown on the screen is a report for 3000 RPM. The first slide here is showing bearing analysis for main bearing forces and moments for main bearing number one. And also look at the polar diagram for the main bearing force, the orbital path for that main bearing, an overview with oil film pressure, asperity contact, total pressure, minimum oil film thickness, and then finally friction losses. Additionally we can look at the animation of the simulation. What is shown on the screen are the condensed bodies and the EHD bearings themselves. When I push play, we can see the total pressure being plotted onto the main bearing surfaces, and we can also see the constraint forces that are visible for each one of the bodies. Now it is possible to change the quantity for any one of the bearings by double clicking on it, and for example, if I change to asperity contact pressure, I can now see the asperity contact pressure being plotted on the main bearing. Thank you for watching check out the other videos in our YouTube series. Also, visit our website at www.avl.com.